LJH86 Special is a Planes character that's always really stood out to me for two distinct reasons. Reason number one, he doesn't actually compete in the Wings Around the Globe rally. This is a racer who appears during the Nebraska trial segment of the movie and doesn't get into the final race, but despite that, he still got a diecast in the pretty early days of the Plains diecast line. Eventually, we got a whole series called Nebraska Trials that incorporated some of the other characters that don't make the cut in Wings Around the Globe later on in the movie, but LJH here was one of the first Plains diecast releases and it came out a few years before we got the rest or more of the planes that don't make the cut. And of course, the other reason why he stands out is his insanely weird name. He, he doesn't have a normal name. His name is LJH86 Special. And I, I don't get it. it. That's not a name. That, is that? <laughs> and so for years, I was like, wow, what a weird thing to call him. He doesn't have a real name. And then I rewatched the movie. And I realized that during the Nebraska Trials, right there on the board, his name is labeled as, like, LJH Special or something. His name is labeled in the movie as LJH 86 Special. So, what does that even mean? I assume LJH is some sort of... Maybe his initials? His number is clearly 86. And then Special. Because you know what? We're all special in our own way. Anyway, guys, welcome back to yet another review and to another Planes Diecast review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at LGH86 Special, who has the, uh, the, the honor, or maybe dishonor, of being the final car from my Christmas haul to be reviewed this year. As per usual, we've made our way into February with the Christmas haul, um, but, you know, January is a pretty dry month when it comes to finding new stuff, so I don't really have an issue with that. It's been a really fun time reviewing all these Christmas haul cars and planes. As per usual, and now it's come to an end. We got LGH up there. Very nice artwork of him. On the back, LGH 86 Special. Dusty Crop Popper is a small crop dusting plane with big dreams. That's not about him. That's about this guy. No. With big dreams to race on the wings around the globe rally. The racer, LGH 86 Special, competes with Dusty at the time qualifying trials. Kind of funny how they, they explain this character through the lens of Dusty. They don't usually do that with these character descriptions. Uh, collect and connect planes to Blazets. Premium diecast with spinning repellers. As you can see here, we have some other planes that are available, like the one you just bought. I always find it so, so weird when they do that, when they include the item you bought on the back of the box. I don't really do that anymore. Um, nowadays, they sort of make sure to show you other ones that are available. We've got Racing Dusty, Jolly Wrenches Dusty, Rochelle, and Echo. All very nice items, none of which I own, actually. Um... Yeah, now let's get LJH here out of the package. It's such a clunky name. Like, I can't even nickname him. LJH, so like, those three letters just don't really mesh well if you try to say them back to back to back. Um, anyway, here he is out of the package, and he's a pretty small plane decked out in a very cool uh, U.S. flag-style deco. Painted white with some blue. We got some stars on him. Really like that fading design on the wings. A very generic plane expression. Um, yeah, look at that. He almost, it almost looks like he doesn't really have an expression. It almost looks like the sort of face they give them on the, on the CGI model sheets where they're just sort of deadly, blankly staring forwards. Um, yeah, I don't know if he has a unique mold, but he does look very, very similar to several of the other Planes characters, especially in the front here. I will say the tail area is definitely pretty unique for LJH. We'll get to that in just a second. Got the number 86 there. And, uh, well, would you look at that? We have, I guess, some more lore regarding his name. We have LJH, but J is spelled J-A-Y like the name. So maybe his real name is J. Uh, and he just crafted the L and H and 86 special around that. Or maybe J is just a nickname. Typically, if a name is in quotes, it's in nicknames. And, you know, you'll see that sort of thing on, on fighter planes a lot. Um, yeah, I, I still don't know what the deal with his name is, but this this isn't helping. Aeroflex logo there. I guess a sponsor. We've got the 86 there. Red and some nice white stripes. Um, it's honestly more of an orange than, like, the American flag shade of red, but I don't really mind. And as you can see, his whole bottom part is painted in in this red color, which is very cool, save for the landing gears um, and the wheels here. As you can see, those are painted in in white. 
There is a look at the other side, just more of the same. And finally, there is a look at the base. As per usual, we got the connector and of course a fully painted base which is very nice anyway guys thank you all so much for watching let me know what planes item you think i should buy next i'm trying to get a lot of planes this year as we are approaching planes anniversary 10 year anniversary and while i make a lot of jokes about planes i do want to do something special for it so thank you all so much for watching i'll see you guys next time bye now